All right, so I've got a door here that will not latch. The only thing that's holding it is the deadbolt, and uh, it's uh, not lining up with the uh, with the hole that the latch is supposed to go in. And I'm pretty sure it's due to the door not being even on the door jam. The door jam has a nice gap at the top, as far as the top right side where the hinges are. But then at the bottom, it's pretty much all the way up against the door jam. As you can see here on the top hinge, they uh, used a big, probably long screw. Uh, it's a different type of screw. And uh, they just, you know, screwed it into the door jam even further to try to get into the frame of the house, to try to draw everything back. But that didn't work, so we're using my method. I wanna make a spacer for this side of the hinge. I'm just gonna use a piece of paper to line that out. Okay. All right, so I got my template underneath a lid to a tote that we don't need anymore. And I'm just gonna trace it out and then cut it out of the the lid. All right, I got a Sharpie pen this time. This should work. There we go. And then trace it out. Uh, that should do it. So I was trying some different things and I got these tin snips um, that work rather well to cut this uh, plastic look better. There we go. Well, there's a space I just made. Now we need to uh, poke holes for the screws. So here's a template. Let's see if the screw holes line up. There's another fly. Just need to remark one of them. So now with the uh, screw holes remarked, I need to go ahead and poke a hole. So I need to see what I can find to poke a hole with. So to poke a hole, I'm just using a screw and I'm just going to screw it in. It's a big screw, so it should make a big enough hole to compensate for the ones that are in there. So I'll have to remark that one and then come back and put a hole in it. So the... Uh, Spacer, shim, whatever you want to call it, is done. Let's make sure it'll line up before we take the screws out of the hinge. Looks good. I'm just going to need to trim a little bit more off this, and then we'll be good. Okay, time to install it and see how it does. So we got the gap to uh, come out some and it did raise the the door latch but it wasn't enough to get into the hole of the door latch striker um, but it did raise it up some so next I don't want to I don't want to put any more shims in there because uh, the top is starting to get close now and I don't want to get it any closer so let's go ahead and carve out uh, some of this wood down here so we can lower down the 
the uh, striker plate and get the get the door latch into the hole. I've already taken the screws off. And um, I'm going to chisel out a little more of the screw to bring it down. I'm also going to have to chisel out some of this, um, this big hole here in order to bring that down for the for it to go into. Let's start doing that. All right. I'm gonna go get my drill gun here. All right, before I screw the other one in, let's test it out. And it locked. What do you know? I had to push a little hard because I resealed it. But uh, it's actually working. So I'm going to put the top screw in. Make sure it still latches. And we're good. Thanks for watching.